I think that there are still a lot of unanswered questions. We know that people refer to DCIS as a quote-unquote non-obligate precursor. In other words, a precursor of cancer, but not every patient who has it goes on to develop invasive carcinoma. And like I said, we are learning to try to sort out the various forms of DCIS and the patient profiles, which would enable us to figure out why some patients never go beyond that initial diagnosis, why some patients need treatment, why some patients develop invasive carcinoma. So my perspective on that article is we still have work to do. I would tell a patient who has DCIS, just like I would tell a patient with any other diagnosis, to feel comfortable asking for second opinions, both pathology opinions as well as surgery and oncology opinions. It's your body. You are free to ask. I would suggest to patients that they keep in mind that the protocols, the treatment guidelines from national organizations, as I said, have been worked out by experts on the basis of the most up-to-date literature. So I would advise patients to learn everything they can, to ask all the questions they can, to be comfortable with the fact that treatment protocols are evidence-based guidelines, and to work with their doctors to figure out the best course of treatment for them.